Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a fall morning routine, pretty much along the same lines of all my morning routine videos, but just as usual, wanna show you what products I'm using, what we've been up to. And thanks to Tula for sponsoring this video. It's a beautiful skincare company, and I'm excited to tell you about some of their products in a minute. So Ludo's new morning routine is to lay on top of me like this and sleep for as long as I'll let him. It's very sweet and I love it, but we just wake up in the morning, lots of dog cuddles. We filmed this while Ludo was still in his cone from his fixing surgery, which we've taken it off since. He's all healed up and doing great, um, but the cone life was definitely rough, so we we're sure to give him lots of love. I feel like we really lucked out in getting such a cuddly dog because that's really what I really wanted, but so we spend a lot of time all throughout the day, not just in the morning, cuddling with Ludo, but I usually just check my emails, my texts, my DMs, you know, all those sorts of things as I lay there with Ludo as we cuddle. Bradley usually gets out of bed before me. I've been doing too much work on my phone in bed lately. I need to stop that. Um, but I do just spend a lot of time cuddling with Ludo because how can you not? Look at him. He's literally a cuddle muppet of my dreams and I just can't get enough. So there's little Ludy. I like to change, well, we take turns changing it because we both get excited to change the days to Halloween numbers. So it was two weeks from Halloween when I filmed this, super cute. And then I'm gonna fill up the diffusers. Please don't mind how dirty this table is. I didn't realize till I was editing this footage and I will be, I will be cleaning it immediately. Um, but I am filling up my Desert Mist diffuser. I am putting in some Citrus Fresh and Thieves. Citrus Fresh because I diffuse it all day, every day, but Thieves because it smells literally like fall or Christmas in a bottle. It smells so good. It's also good for your immune system. So I'm putting in those into my Desert Mist diffuser. And then I, well, my husband helped me make um, this little jack-o'-lantern pumpkin, pumpkin diffuser sleeve, I guess we'll call it. I am obsessed with it. The Desert Mist has a candle flicker setting, so I wanted to make a jack-o'-lantern. Um, Ludo is <laughs> always transfixed with <laughs> the diffuser. Isn't he so cute? I know the cone is so sad, but... But yeah, I'm so pleased with the way the pumpkin diffuser sleeve turned out. And I have a reel on my oils Instagram page if you want to see how I made it. Uh, and there's Ludo <laughs> sitting by his Ludo pillow, which I always think is really funny. But he's always, he's pretty tired in the morning. Like we got a really great sleeping dog. Like he will sleep in until 10 and will not let us take him to the bathroom until then. So we don't have to get up out of bed at 6 a.m., which is great. And then I just put in a shot of these beautiful mums Bradley bought me. Then it was time for breakfast and Bradley and I both had some eggs and toast, very simple, but I am very much into scrambled eggs. Um, they hurt my stomach for some reason if I don't eat them with like a carb, like one of my Weight Watchers bagels or toast. So it's usually some sort of carb and some scrambled eggs if that's what I'm having. Um, so I just cracked four into a bowl, salt and peppered them, whisked them up, and then forced Bradley to cook them for us because he makes way better eggs than I do. It's just the truth. I'm also toasting up some bread, obviously for the toast and yeah. usually pretty basic and just use strawberry jam but I have this apple cider fruit spread from Trader Joe's and it is so good obviously you have to like apples and cinnamon because it's very obviously that tasting but it's really really good it's not too heavy and it's nice and light and I am a fan of it and I also filled up my cute pumpkin glass with some defense up juice then it's time to shower and get ready and do all my skincare. So I'm jumping in the shower to wash my face and this is where I'm using my Tula skincare. Tula is a really nice skincare company that was founded by a doctor who was prescribing her patients with probiotics and noticing not only was their gut health better, but their skin was better. Probiotics are a powerful natural ingredient that helps restore the natural balance of your skin's microbiome, soothe and nourish your skin and boost its appearance. I've been using a lot of their products recently and really been enjoying it because it all just feels luxurious. I've been loving this super calm gentle milk cleanser. It smells really good but it's 100% free from fragrance, alcohol, silicones, mineral oil, parabens, phthalates, 
PEGs and sulfates, and everything is completely cruelty free, which I love, of course. Tula has a motto that I think is lovely. It's healthy, not perfect, to encourage everyone to live in the skin they have and feel beautiful in their own skin. So if you're interested in trying this cleanser or some of the other products I'm going to mention in a second, you can go to Tula.com and use promo code Amy to get 15% off on your order. And I will have that link clickable down below in the description bar. Then after I wash my face, I wash my body. This is the Alba Botanica Very Emollient Honey Mango Shower Gel. I love this stuff. It's great for my dry body skin. And then I always follow up with my Ultra Repair Cream from First Aid Beauty. This literally heals the eczema that I get in my elbow pits. And I love it so much. So I slather my whole body with that. And then this is what I look like, a hot mess. So I need to plug in my curling iron and then I'm going in with some more Tula products. So I love this one. It is a sunscreen. This is called the Protect and Glow sunscreen. It has SPF 30 and it has two of my favorite skincare ingredients, pineapple and papaya. And it also of course has the probiotics that Tula is known for, but it is non-greasy. It smells incredible and it's like beautiful to look at. It's kind of shimmery and leaves like a really nice glow on your skin. I do like to follow up with more moisturizers. Oh, I got distracted by the dog who was just sniffing the wall and I didn't understand why. <laughs> but anyway, I like to follow up with some more moisturizer. This is the 24 seven moisture hydrating day and night cream. I really like this honestly for day and night. It's kind of the perfect mix of not too light for me because I do like a good amount of moisture, but it's not too heavy for the day and it smells so good. So I am just putting that all over my face. <music> And then I love this product. I am amazed by it every time. It's the Rose Glow and Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. You guys, this literally like keeps your under eyes feeling cool for at least 30 minutes. It feels incredible. If you're feeling tired in the morning or you have allergies or for any reason your eyes feel kind of just like tired or puffy or anything, this stuff is incredible and it leaves like a beautiful sheen behind. So even if you're not wearing makeup, you're brightening your under eye. It's nothing like glittery or super shimmery. It's just a beautiful glow that really like brightens and awakens your face. And I am obsessed and I love that it comes in a really handy stick form. So after that, my skincare is done, but my hair is looking a hot mess. So we're gonna take out my fuzzy scrunchie, which uh, I believe I got that for my birthday last year, so I'm sorry I can't tell you where I got it. Um, but I'm taking out my nasty hair, which I'm getting cut finally on Wednesday. I am so excited. But I'm just going to curl my hair using my Conair 1 inch curling iron, and you've seen me do that a million times. So I will link my hair care routine up in the corner if you care to see in depth. But I just ran the curling iron through it pretty much. I am also going to run some BioSilk Silk Therapy Original Oil through my hair. I love this stuff. Not only does it smell amazing, but it just kind of helps tame the frizz, kind of keep my curl intact, and just overall make it look shiny and weightless and just better. Um, I did want to wear a headband on this day. This is my new favorite headband from Anthropology. I can link it down below. I had it in pink, but I ordered it in the navy when it was on sale, and I love it, and it's super sparkly, and I love the braids. So. Yeah, that is it for my hair and skin care. I'm going to put on some deodorant. This is the Valor deodorant from Young Living. It's one of my favorite all natural deodorants. And then I'm also putting on a ton of Moonlight Path body spray from Bath and Body Works. I just take a quick bath in that. I also probably wore perfume this day, but I don't remember which one I selected. So I'm sorry about that, but it's time for the face. So I'm going to be showing you like what I've been doing if I put on makeup. A lot of days I don't, cause as you know, quarantine self-isolation we're not really doing a whole lot but if i'm filming vlogging around if we are seeing i don't know if i'm just in the mood to put on makeup this is what i've been doing so i put on the Too faced hangover rx primer which i love putting on a little bit of the laneige lip glowy balm because i am going to be wearing a lip color later can you believe it i can't believe it so you probably can't either then i'm going in with the wet and wild dewy photo focus foundation i Love this stuff. I gave the original formula a bad rap because I did not enjoy it, but the dewy formula is incredible. I love this like spatula thing that I just slap all over my face. And then I'm using the Morphe Flawless Beauty Sponge to blend everything out. This is a really good medium coverage foundation that leaves a bit of a glow to your skin. I do set some areas because it can be a little bit too dewy. Um, and I do 
layer a little bit if I need some extra coverage in the middle of my face because I haven't really been into the under eye concealer lately, but I just totally love that foundation and it's $5, I forgot to mention that. Then whatever I do want to spot conceal, I use my Flower Beauty Light Illusion Concealer. I love this stuff so much. Um, the tip of my nose is usually pretty red, and my chin is usually pretty red. I have some sunspots in my old age and just anything I want to cover. This I bought originally to be an under eye concealer, but I love it so much more as a spot concealer. So I'm just treating all the spots and then I'm going to set them with powder. <laughs> For powder, I'm going in with this Bare Minerals Powder Duo in a Sigma, I think it's an F1, it's a, I don't know, I'll link it down below, whatever that brush is, but I'm just gonna mix the powders together. There's a matte and a shimmer powder, and I like to mix the shimmer in there under my eye just to give it a little bit more of a glow, so I'm setting that so it doesn't crease, and then I am taking the Marc Jacobs Coconut Setting Powder and just lightly dusting it over my chin and my mustache and wherever I put concealer, and a little bit on my T-zone because that's where I tend to get oily if I am going to get oily throughout the day. Then it's time to bronze, and I almost used something different in this video because you can't get this bronzer right now, but I didn't want to like lie in case you really wanted to know what my actual routine is right now, and it's been this bronzer. It's from Bessemi Cosmetics from their Peter Pan collection. It's incredible. If they ever have another bronzer, I'm buying it because I'm obsessed with it, and I'm also obsessed with that brush, which I'll have everything I'm using linked down below in case I'm going too fast, which I definitely am because now we're onto eyeshadow. I just take another Luxie brush and dip it right into that bronzer for an easy, just like like crease definition look and just to set my eyelids so they don't crease with whatever concealer or foundation or powder I put on them and then I am curling my eyelashes real quick and going in with my L'Oreal Bambi Eye Mascara. I gotta say I haven't touched my CoverGirl Clump Crusher in a while because I'm having a mad love affair with the Bambi Eye Mascara so if you haven't tried it yet you should. They have a brown color if that's your jam like mine and I love it. Speaking of loving things, this is amazing. Maybe the best makeup find of 2020 so far. The Physician's Formula Natural Defense uh, Multicolor Stick. I think that's what it's called. I am obsessed. I have the color Soft Pink. I use a duo fiber brush to blend it out, but I just put it directly on my cheeks, blend it out, and it, I just think it looks so pretty and natural. I love this specific color for my skin tone, so if you have paler skin, I think you would like this. I know they have a few others, but it's just so glowy, and it is a cream product, but it doesn't move around your face. And another one of my favorite cream products, which I've talked about a lot this quarantine, is the Benefit Watts Up Highlighter. It is the greatest cream highlighter ever. It just doesn't slide around your face. It blends out so beautifully. It looks, well, I was going to say so natural. It, it doesn't look natural, but it just looks natural if that makes sense like you're able to blend it into your skin really nicely so i just apply it directly and then use my ring finger just to kind of blend it out i put some on my um eyelid as well above my brow bone and then i also put some on my nose and the tip of my nose and then i just use my morphe sponge to blend everything out And this can be a bit of a process of layering some more blush and blending back again with the blush brush, but it's a process I enjoy of getting the right blush highlight balance. And then if I'm feeling real fancy, I take my Benefit Cookie Highlight in this Morphe highlighting brush, and I just use it to kind of set the tip of my nose because the highlight, if it's gonna move, will move off the tip of my nose, but then just run the extra everywhere else across my face. Then I'm doing my brows, which we're just gonna speed through because I feel like you've watched this a thousand times, but you guys know I love the Benefit Gimme Brow. I use the shade three. It's just really effective at giving you some color, some extra volume because it adds fiber to your brows, but it doesn't set them completely in place for me because I have pretty bushy brows. So I'm using their 24 hour brow gel setter, whatever that's called. I love it, keeps them in place. Adding some more mascara and then for the lip color. This is the NYX Lip Liner in Natural. I think for me, this is like my, my lips, but better shade. I have more of like mauve lips. So I often don't like lip color on me. I also don't like it because I have small lips and I feel like it accentuates how small they are. But for some reason, I have been so into lately wearing this lip liner all over my lips. So I'm just lining my lips. I'm not into overlining. I try really hard not to actually. Um, no offense if you do, it's just not my jam. Um, so I am just lining my lips, filling them in, and it's also really comfortable to wear throughout the day. It's not as like slippery as a lipstick, but not as stiff and dry as a liquid lipstick. And then I'm finishing everything off with the L'Oreal Lumi Shake and Glow Dew Mist. You guys know I love this stuff. It's the absolute best. I'm just giving myself a bath in that. And then I zoomed in to show you, but I sneezed and I didn't want to... <laughs> 
I didn't want to mess up my mascara. <laughs> Thought I'd leave that in there for you. But this is the finished look, just nice glowy skin. Um, I'm wearing my Kate Spade earrings and then my Ana Luisa mini pearls at the second hole, which I love this combo right now. But yeah, guys, that is it. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you again to Tula for sponsoring. I will have all their info down below and my coupon code and where you can click to buy everything. But yeah, guys, I will see you very soon with some more fall Halloween type fun videos. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye.